The management of mainland hospital Lagos State says it received a directive from the State Ministry of Health not to release corpses of suspected NSAS protesters. Um, as you all know, terrible things happened recently in Nigeria. People came out to protest peacefully. Miscrimes were sent, paid by politicians to disrupt. And when they realized that this was not working, they decided to come up with another approach, as they often do. They have three things to achieve, three mantras. They have just three things to steal, to kill, and to destroy. This time around, they decided to use the killing. They shot at NSAS protesters, the military. They shot at NSAS protesters, and they did a lot of very terrible things. And the bodies of those people that were killed were carted away by the military, by the killers. According to Punch newspaper, they visited the mainland hospital after the chief corona of Lagos State, Mrs. Mujisola Dada, via a public announcement directed relatives who had lost loved ones between October 19th to 27th to, to visit the Lagos State University teaching hospital to identify and claim bodies of their loved ones. The NSAS protest had lasted between October 7th to 20th in Lagos State and several other states of the Federation. While the protest lasted, relations, friends, and associates of missing persons claimed their relations had either been killed or held incommunicado by security agents. People are looking for their loved ones. Lagos State Governor said, anyone that has lost family members or you've not found, please come out. That is what they are saying. And there's a lot of cover-up in this. Of a particular concern was the Lake to Gate shooting of Tuesday, October 20, where peaceful NSAS protesters were shot at by security agents, leading to yet to be ascertained number of casualties. They said two. Later, they said there was no blood. Some say 20. Some say 30. Now, from all of this, if you could you know, kind of bring all of this together, you realize that there is so much cover-up and the numbers are not yet known some people don't know that their children were there at that time um they just some are not even living with their parents probably in a in a month time two months time when it seems as if they are not having kind of communication with their children that's when they begin to realize that their children have gone the shooting incident that attracted national and international outcry with the Lagos state and federal government being urged to unravel the identity of the shooters who were deployed although cnn did a series they did a documentary and Lagos State, and of course, the federal government, in fact, the federal government, Lai Mohammed, the liar, Buari has not said anything about this. He said, why should CNN depend on social media? As if social media is now a, a, a platform, as if he wasn't speaking on the social media himself. The public notice by the Lagos State Corona did not, however, state if the bodies that had been scheduled for release also included those of persons who died during the NSAS protest. I'm going to read what they, they said in part. This is to notify the general public that the chief coroner of Lagos State, Honorable Justice M.A. Dada misses postman to Section 15, Corona System Law, not the coronavirus, Corona System Law of Lagos State 2015, the pathology team would want all those who have lost loved ones between 19th to 27th October 2020, that is next of kin of the victims, to provide relevant information that would assist the identification exercise. The next of kin should kindly contact the Department of Pathology and forensic medicine, Lagos State University of Lagos State University Teaching Hospital Lasut or by Akin Jobiwe Ikeja for the identification exercise of the deceased. When Punch newspaper correspondent visited the mainland hospital mortuary in Yaba, Lagos State on Friday, the front desk staff said there was a clear directive from the state governor or government for diners, morgue attendants to release only bodies of those who died before and after the NSAS protest. When the correspondent spoke with the medical director of mainland hospital, Dr. Abimbola Bowa, um, Bowale, he maintained that the mortuary attendant had said, it is only the commissioner of health 
or even Mr. Governor that can release Badi to you, sir. So you will have to contact him, he said. All efforts to reach the Commissioner of Health, Professor Akin Abayomi, and Director of Public Affairs at the State Health Ministry, Mr. Tuposu Ogumbanwo, were all unsuccessful. This is a very sad one. Very, 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 very sad. I don't know what your thoughts are as regards this incident that occurred. Um, it's not the way. It's not the way at all. So now they are keeping bodies. Of course, they do not want to. They don't want to allow any of this to go out there. They want to keep everything secret, secret, secret. That is all they've been all about all of this um, time. It's so sad that life has turned to be this way. Humans can be very, very terrible, you know? Very terrible. Well, we'll see what more they will come up with as regards all of this new development. We'll see if they will eventually succumb to release the bodies of the people who um, to their family members. And, and aside that, um, for those who do not want bodies of their relatives, some don't want it. They said, if you killed that person, it has become government body. You have to deal with it. For some of those people too, um, well, their wishes have to be respected, but it's so sad. It is not acceptable. It's something that I don't know. How can we comfort people who have lost their lives? I watched a very sad one during CNN you know, documentary when one of the young men there was saying, well, look at me. I don't know if I'm going to survive. I've been shot in my tie. I'm losing a lot of blood and I cannot even stand up to escape because I might be shot out at more and people probably finally died. Um, I don't know. Well, at the end of the day, he, he, he said, if I die, if I die this way, if, if I just end up this way, please let the generation to come, let everyone know that I died as a result of fight, fight for for justice, I died as a result of seeking for transparency and putting an end to, to corruption and many of the disaster that is on and that has been on for a very long time. It's a very sad, sad one. I don't know what your think, your thoughts are as regards this. Um, I know a lot of you have a lot to say to this government. This government seems to be one of the worst, one of the worst that you can think of. No, because we've never had it terrible. We've had it Terrible, but it's 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 not something that anyone is smiling at. A lot of comments trailed this. Um, someone say you are not allowed to release bodies of NSAS protesters, bodies as in dead body, and they said nobody died during the shooting. So what do you mean if nobody died during the shooting? If no one died, if you claim that someone um, lost his life as a result of some blunt um, blow to whatever part of his body, and none of these things happened, so why are you hiding it? Someone said it is normal to hold on until investigation is complete there may be need to examine the bodies more so a post-mortem might be needed to identify the time of death death and type of bullet that killed the person in some jurisdiction by now all this forensic investigation to identify each body and the causes of death should be completed if they really want the truth that is on this in a senate crime if they are really ready to do this or they are just trying to cover up um everything that happened someone and said this, and I'm going to end with this. He said, murderers and blood suckers now want to turn to flesh eaters. There is no amount of cover-up that will save you. We know the truth before now. Tinumbu, Songolu, and the federal government simply because of revenue to generate from the toll gate. You killed innocent people. <laughs>